everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I just wanted to show you the new release from Card Making Magic. I've made some samples, so before I post them off, I'd just like to do a little video just so you get to see the details and you know what the dies are all about, really. So there's two collections. You've got the Beautiful Birdcage collection and you've got the Province collection. So they're both really nice and there's there's elements of both that I've just I've just thoroughly enjoyed using. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the Province collection and show you some samples that I've done. So let's just pop this one over to one side. Okay, so you have this one here, which is the 12 piece beautiful day window die set. And I love this one a lot. It's really versatile. And I think because I like to make mini buildings like the Christmas village and the Christmas cottage and the she shed and the bird cows things like that these will work really well with it and I also like that these shutters here actually really do open and close they've got hinges and this die here will die cut through the window itself so you can have that open as well then you've also got your little kind of um, flower pot for the window here what are these called I always forget the name of them and um, planter something like that isn't it bay planter window planter <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those it's really nice it's 3d and you have all the flowers and you've got grass and stuff to decorate all of that up then you also have this one which coordinates with it and I love the trellis and just all the elements to it you've got the planters here and the plant pots you've got all the different flowers you've got the basket you've got the jug the milk churn there and just it all looks really nice and when I show you the sample in a moment you'll be able to see all that in detail and then also you've got this the 5x7 embossing folder and you can use the die here to actually cut this here so if you want more of an embossed effect you can put the shutters over this as well so this is the actual size that this die you know is and again I'll show you in a moment and then you also get the stamp set as well so this one has all these lovely you know like you, for example here you've got the brick effect there so you could stamp that around the die one or you could add more onto here you've got lots of ivy which is really nice to have crawling up the trellis or even just up the side here. And then you've got your hanging basket and you've got the little hook there for it. Very ornate with all the detail on it. So it's just a really, really lovely one. I think, like I said, it's, it's because of these ones, I think I'm just so drawn to it. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. So first of all, I've got this card here. So I've kept the window effect quite flat. So the, you know, the shutters don't lift with this one. I've just kept it all um you know stuck down on some foam pads but you can see the embossing folder behind here and you can see the brickwork that comes through i very lightly distressed it in a very very light brown just so they kind of see a little bit of the dimension i love the bicycle and i really enjoyed creating this one and i just die cut it lots of times in all different colors and then pieced it back together and i've even done a very small little red light there and i've used glossy accents on there and I've used it on the handle and on the seat and then I've used my silver cardstock to create the the metal look there and even the basket it's just really cute but you can see there the dimension here for the the window box I think that was the word I was looking for there's the hanging basket so you can see I've just mixed everything in and I've done lots of the grass dye along the bottom there to stress this up a bit I've also put some window sheet behind there and uh, just really enjoyed it. I think it's lovely and I think it's just a nice card just to show all those elements in use. But if you do want to have the window working, then I've done this here, which I've fallen in love with. I absolutely adore this. So much so that I, because this was being made as a sample, I got quite attached to it. I have actually done a tutorial to show you how to make this. So that will be, you know, you'll see that very soon. And uh, just here now you can see how these will close. Now it will close right up, but because I've decorated the flowers the way I have obviously that stops it a little bit but it's just a really lovely effect and I've used silver on the window there and then on the side you can see that trellis and all the climbers there going up from the the plant pot at the bottom there's the milk churn which I've die cut in silver and then I've gone along and just stamped and die cut all different elements from the stamp sets and the die set and I just love it. Now the trees here are actually from the birdcage collection. So, you know, I just thought I'd throw them in there because it looked quite nice. You've got one there, you've got one there, and I've even got one around the back. And then on the top, this is the bunting. And I've made it into a gift bag. And I just love it. I think it's really, really cute. And I think it shows off all of those dies and the sizes that they are. This is a great size. And uh, yeah, you can, you can make some beautiful 3D projects with this one. So I'm really, really pleased with it. So that's what I've done using the Province Collection. And then using the beautiful birdcage collection. So you have this wonderful, very large birdcage. 
and you have a hinge here so you can create more of a 3D look. But you do have this swing which I think is brilliant and they're those tree branches that I showed earlier. And then you've got, these are the lovebirds and then you've got some different doves there. These ones are just kind of sat so they could sit perched on the branches or you've got them flying there and then you've got some butterflies and some flowers and then the stamp set again you've got these lovebirds which is what I've used for the sample and these stamped kind of branches you've got the hummingbird and then you've got congratulations fly high and hope you feel better really soon so the samples I've made for this one I've got this one here and I just wanted to do a project that really shows off the kind of 3d projects that you can make with this die set here so this is actually uh, it can be a nice gift box or it can be, you can pop a candle inside and it will light up. So when the lights are off, it looks really nice and the, all the design, you know, that beautiful detail all comes through. And then I've just finished it with like glossy accents, some embellishments, lots of dried flowers. Very much a, a kind of Christina style. She loves the dried flowers and that's what, you know, you kind of see throughout the collection is this detail, this real ornate design. So I wanted to kind of show that with this one here. And then you just undo the ribbon there. I'm not going to do it now, but it all opens up and it's an, a nice size. I think it's about four by four. So it's a great size, you know, gift, but obviously it looks really nice as a decorative piece as well. So if you've got another crafty friend, you know, um, I think they would really like this. It's something they can keep in their craft room. So I've done that one. And then a lot of you are going to recognise this one here, but I just, as soon as I saw the swing, I thought I have to redo another swing card. So as soon as I saw the swing, I knew I had to make the swing card and it works brilliantly. Again, it's hard for you to see here, but that does, I don't know how well, but this one basically just swings really nicely. If I do it that way, there we go, you can see. So if any of you haven't seen this card, I'll link it now and you can make it, but they just work brilliantly together. So that's those two stamped lovebirds. And I just went and typed in lovebirds just to get the right colours and this is how they are coloured. So I did enjoy doing them and then I stamped and coloured all of these beautiful like the hibiscus flowers. These are the branches that I've used here. But I have used the sentiment from the province collection. But there's nothing to say that you can't have this as a congratulations. You know they're lovebirds so it can easily be a nice engagement card or a wedding card, anniversary, things like that. But you've also got fly high and hope you feel better really soon. They would work with this as well. It's just lovely six by six you got your little stand there and everything and I just yeah as soon as I saw it it was meant to be so yeah two two samples for the beautiful bird cage collection and then two samples for the province collection okay so there are my samples really do like these and like I said look out for the tutorial for this one here there will be a craft stash live it may have already happened and um, check out Hachanda because I know Christina will be there launching this collection and will no doubt have lots of lovely um, samples and you know more beautiful makes that she will be doing on the day as well and also those will be shared on craft stash so yeah hope you've liked these I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration and I'll be back again soon with a new tutorial bye